Brad Haddon thought that was very drivable there to drive, and all of a sudden it's an outside edge. Southey gets another one, and Ross Taylor gobbles it. Brad Haddon, two in a row, a little bit of fortune, but it's finished. I mean, a first class match. Oh, there it is! Gaptel swallows it. It's not Gaptel, it's Ryder. And Siddle departs. Well, that might answer David Warner's question for him. Because he might have to go, go, go. Oh, that's a big shout. And well worth it. The umpire says, yes, I agree. And the Australians are challenging. Well, whoa. Whoa. What a review by James Tanninson. The decision will be overturned. to slip the middle of the bat has gone missing oh, in. they've got nine now and the black caps they can sense it sense it they can reach out and touch a bit of history it's been 20 years since new zealand have beaten australia oh that should be out i reckon and the figure comes up, New Zealand have won the test match, but they've got to get through this review. Here we go. Here we go, Michael Slater. Oh! Outside leg. This is going to be overturned. The test match is going to continue. Down to three slips in a the gully there now. in the last, well, let's say the last four days. Look at Nathan Lyon. Look at him. That is the face of sport, the other side of sport. The beauty of sport. They are checking, I suppose, for a no ball. I suppose they have to. Let's have a look. Here's the moment of the test. There it is. Oh, behind the line. That's what you wanted to see. It has been a courageous performance and a courageous comeback from New Zealand, Smithy. Have to say, because they got beaten fair and square at the Gabba, but this is a big moment. The name Bracewell has been so proud in New Zealand sport. So proud. They've contributed so much. But never has a moment in the Bracewell history been as sweet as this.